today um, here at the <clears throat> second uh, Tolman family Christmas all being together. <clears throat> We're making sushi. Okay, we've made the rice. I used uh, four Japanese cups of rice and a little bit more water than we usually use in um, normal eating rice so that it's a little sticky and uh, we put it in the taru which is this tub and we fan it as we mix in um, about one part of about two parts of rice vinegar to one part of aji mirin and uh, we use some salt and uh, so now we're, we're just mixing the, uh, the flavorings in and also drying it or, or cooling it at the same time. This right here is the tray of the things that will go inside the rolls. Skimono, a Japanese pickled vegetable here. And you notice that everything, the asparagus that are sliced in half, the avocados, the green onions. One of the things that I really like to include is shiitake mushrooms that have been um, first dried. And dried is actually better because you can rehydrate them in soy sauce, sesame oil, and a little bit of, um, a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And you just put them in a little bowl into a little saucepan like this and then probably for about 20 minutes until they're rehydrated. So they kind of become really flavorful little um, additions to the sushi roll. They're delicious. Everything is sort of, the carrots, everything is sort of cut so that it can be about six inches long and fit easily into the nori. And this is a very untraditional sauce here that was sort of originated in the spicy uh, tuna roll and it's basically a combination of mayonnaise and uh, Korean sriracha. So we're, um, the forces at play here are my dad who is very authentic and um, you know insists that everything be exactly the way it's done in Japan and then there's the way we're actually doing it which is a little bit of a hybrid. Official ways that that sashimi can be cut, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a couple different approaches. Um, some are going to be for nigiri, which is the kind of sushi that just sits on top of a chunk of rice, and then the other kind is going to be for our rolls. So the smaller ones that I'm cutting now are basically going to lay on top of a piece of rice. And for the rolls, um, we're kind of going for something like that. So again, we're doing the strips that we saw with the vegetables. <clears throat> something that's gonna be approximately the, the same size and shape as the nori, the seaweed. One of the great things about making sushi at home is that you can have you can have a really good sized piece of fish. You actually get to taste more of the, the flavor of the fish, whereas um, usually when you get it in restaurants, the pieces of fish are really small. So we have all of the ingredients that we need. Nori toasted seaweed sheets. The sushi rice is short grain rice. We have sashimi grade tuna, and then you have the vegetable platter here with the spicy sauce. The first thing <clears throat> that you're gonna do is take the rough side of the nori, rough side up, and then you'll get your hands a little bit wet so that the rice doesn't stick. And essentially, you're just going to smooth out the rice on the nori, leaving the top 
part right here completely free of rice. It's kind of think of it as, um, as like an envelope, like that's the area where you're going to seal it. Not too much. Um, make sure it goes all the way to the edges. And then you're going to build your roll, um, taking your fish. and then whatever vegetables you'd like to use. So for this first one, I'm going to do some avocado. I'm going to put in some of our <laughs> un unconventional or untraditional <laughs> spicy sauce. And this is where you can just get creative. I mean, you can put literally anything you want into your roll. Um, the only trick is, is that I wouldn't fill it too much. It, it's tempting to make the rolls a little bit too big, but then they tend to fall apart. So I'm gonna stop here, maybe put a little bit of spinach just to make it look pretty. And then, um, and then what you do is you dip your, your fingers in that same water and you get the top wet. So that's kind of our envelope thing. And then you can use the sushi rolling mat to sort of help you get started. And then I find that it's actually easier to just kind of use my fingers. So you just roll it as tightly as you can, because that'll make it stick together better. And the whole thing becomes a sushi roll. And then you take your sharp knife. It's helpful to dip it in water to keep the rice, again, from sticking to it. Then we'll take a platter here and arrange our roll on it, which is looking really lovely. See the middle there? So that's it. Nice. seaweed is on the outside and so I devised this method of doing it I have no idea if it's traditional this is just how I do it but what I do is I take a Ziploc bag with the um, bamboo mat inside and I put sesame oil on top of it so the rice doesn't stick then I do similarly to what we did last time I take the nori um, and the rice and spread it out. Now in this, it, for this roll, it's actually best if you get the rice all the way to the top edge. Leave space on the bottom. So here I have the nori, the rice halfway, all the way up to the top, and then the fish sort of thinly sliced on top. So then what I'm gonna do is, you know, just this action here. So then we have kind of an inverted roll. Um, good to sort of push it down at this point and make sure that the rice is really firm because it's going to be a little bit harder for it to stick together. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the same way that I did the last one, I'm going to put the vegetables. I'm probably not going to put any fish inside since we have the fish on the outside. Then, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do it the exact same way but it's, in this case, it becomes a little bit more important to use the, the, ro the, the rolling um, mat is going to be much more helpful and necessary 
And this is actually kind of a little bit trickier to sort of keep the roll really tight. As you can see, it's, um, it's just kind of a, a process of, you kind of get it conceptually what we're trying to do, right? But mm -hmm. it's, um, it's not as easy. <laughs> so you just want to keep pressing down to keep the roll together. And theoretically, you should have something <clears throat> that looks like this. So that's, I mean, that's okay. Like it's, um, you can see the rice sort of poking through, so it's not perfect, but I mean, it's probably good enough for our purposes here. So as you see, they're, they're not, as you can tell, I'm not totally happy with them, but um, you get the idea.